Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith and I'm so glad to have you here. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly moisturize your hair in mini twists. I have five basic steps of how I moisturize my hair in mini twists. Let's get started to the first step, which is to add water to your hair. I have a spray bottle of water here and I'm going to be moisturizing my hair with you guys. I always like to infuse my water with both aloe vera and rosemary. So here's my water here. I just have this aloe vera gel I got off of Amazon. Pretty affordable, it was under $10, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that. Aloe vera is great for moisturizing your hair because it's a humectant, which actually draws humidity and moisture out of the air and into your hair strands. So I always see a huge difference when I moisturize my hair with just water versus water and aloe. My hair stays moisturized for a longer period of time. I'm also going to add in my rosemary essential oil. Rosemary is actually great for strengthening your hair strands and it also promotes growth. And the thing about mini twists is that you don't want to drench your hair. We only want to dampen our hair with water. I'm gonna start with one half of my hair. So I'm gonna clip away the back and we're gonna go in and spray. I spray my scalp, the length of my hair, and don't forget your ends. We have the rosemary and aloe and everything in there, so I'm just making sure to warm up my scalp and really work it in. After we've wet our hair with our water, the second step to moisturizing your mini twist is going to be using some sort of leave-in. Now that we've hydrated our hair, we want to make sure to seal in that moisture with whatever leave-in you like. One that I absolutely love and that I always go through is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Hydrating Leave-In Milk. It's pretty thick but also light at the same time. I'm just going to add the product to the length of my hair. Now the third step to moisturizing your twists are going to be to seal in all of this moisture with an oil. Oil is really great for sealing in moisture because water and oil don't mix and that is so important because it also prevents water from your hair from evaporating away. I have my own oil mixture here. It's my DIY oil that I found works with my hair. You could use whatever oils you like. So I'm going to add this oil to my scalp as well as the length of my hair. Don't forget your edges. This is also a really great time to go ahead and give yourself a scalp massage. Your scalp is skin, so really massaging it in there will help bring to life your hair follicles and wake up dormant strands. Although it's very important to oil your scalp, it's just as important to oil your ends. There's a difference between hair growth and length retention. Adding oil to the ends of your hair to seal them is really going to protect them. And look at that. <laughs> Let me just show you guys the difference between dry twists and moisturized twists. I think the curls are popping more on this side, but also what you guys can't tell through the screen is that my hair feels so much softer so i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize this side of my hair and i'll see you guys when i get back the fourth step is to believe it or not let your hair dry a bit I know this sounds kind of weird or kind of intuitive, but some people when they moisturize their mini twists, they like to put it up in like a tight bun or something, style right away. But when you have mini twists and your hair is in its wet state, in order to keep the structure of your curls and the style, you have to let it dry a little bit. If I were to take my hair and put it into a ponytail, when I take that ponytail out and my hair is dry, they're going to come out a little flat and you might end up having like a dent in your hair. So we wanna make sure that our hair dries for at least like 20 to 30 minutes before we go in and mess with our hair. Step number five, once you've let your hair air dry a bit, you're just going to cover your head with a silk scarf. I love using a silk scarf 
to tame frizz and to protect the longevity of my style. I believe it's better than a bonnet because while a bonnet protects your hair from your pillowcase, when your hair is in twists, it kind of still is able to move around the bonnet and frizz up a bit. But when we have a silk scarf and tie it down, it keeps our hair in place. take these tails and secure it by tying a knot up here. This is what you can be doing at night if you have mini twists and get rid of all frizz and all flyaways, especially after we moisturize our hair. And I'll leave this on for about half an hour or so and then I'll take the scarf off and style my hair. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been about half an hour and I'm gonna take down my scarf and this is what we're working with, which means we are done with my complete list of how to properly moisturize your hair when they're in mini twists. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, let me know in the comments down below and what else you may wanna see. Check out my other videos. I also have videos on how I actually do this sort of style and my maintenance routine and things like that. And also, subscribe for more hair care content but i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye